We still need to decorate this garden. Since all the other ones are decorated now. And I want to put up the watering hole while I'm here as well. Someone's poisoned the water hole. Is the problem between Woody and Buds, right? Well, I mean, they don't have a problem anymore, but they used to. The problem between Woody and Buzz is a command problem. Woody thinks he's in charge because he is the sheriff, and he comes from cowboy times where the sheriff was like, la di da di da right? The sheriffs thought they could do whatever they wanted. They still do. <laughs> but, you know, sheriffs, sheriffs had a lot of pool in cowboy times, and but Buzz is a space ranger, and he's not the leader of Star Command. But he answers to Star Command. So then Woody shows up and is like, you have to answer to me, I'm the sheriff. And Buzzy's like, you know what you're talking about, I'm... I only answer to Star Command and... Cause like, you would think the problem is that they're both leaders, but Buzz isn't really a leader. He take- he- he-, he his position takes orders, he just... You know, his chain of command is different from Woody's chain of command. Cause they're both kinda stubborn. And... They kind of seem a little power hungry at times. But Buzz also didn't know he was a toy, so like <laughs> so you, you, things fall apart. You know, that's that's what the main problem was, I guess. You know, Woody knows he's a toy and he doesn't think he's a toy. I mean, we get it. But also you know Woody's a jerk. Uh I think the watering hole will go here. So let's pull the watering hole out. Oh, it's smaller than I expected it to be. Well, okay. It can still go here. It's just a little disappointing. And then I put this back. Just different. There we go. Something like that, I guess. It's smaller than I thought it would be. What is this? A watering hole for ants? Something nice that might go outside. There's a swimming pool. What resources does that take? Just a bunch of stone, really. Interesting. I don't have an idea of where we would put a swimming pool right now. But maybe. Maybe right in front of uh, my little neighborhood right here that we have with Mickey, Benny, and Buzz. We can have a swimming pool in our little neighborhood. That might be fun. It might fit right next to Buzz's um, spaceship thing. We can put these harvest pumpkin stuff in the sunlit plateau. Or if we don't want to do that, we can just do the scarecrows. That might be fun. We can do like three or four scare scarecrows. I, I would need more dark wood, it looks like, though, for the scarecrows. What about this? We can do some of these. I do like these, though. The thing is, is that if I did these grass jars, which I think would look nice in the Sunlit Plateau, I would want something like an archway, because that's kind of how we've been doing it. And, and I'll, show, I'll show you all what I mean. So with this garden here, we don't have an archway, so I take it back. Because the archway that we have would be like this archway, this archway that we have in front of Wally's garden. Back here. That leads to our little sitting area. Our little private area for, for sitting at, and looking at the ocean. And then we have the one down here with the big wrought iron archway. And the, the lights. And since we just passed it, this ice cream stand I put right here by this bridge, but I could also move it to be directly opposite Goofy stand. But I don't know. We don't we don't need symmetry like that. It just you know, whenever you think of like a beach on a boardwalk, a boardwalk on a beach, that's where all like the shopping stuff would be sort of in a centralized place. Anyway, back to this garden. We have the lights that rim this garden as well. 
And then we have these two trees that kind of make the archway. With the other trees sort of backing it up along with the lights. So, I like the archway to sort of like welcome you into the garden. So we could do that. Or we could try to figure out another way to create an archway. Because there aren't many archway ideas anyway. In the, in the furniture build. Unless there's like another one of these. And then I can use this to create the archway to the garden. This big rib. Which might be interesting. That could be a good look. It wouldn't be a bad look. And we have some blueprints. I wish it told me what the blue what the blueprints hey! were. <laughs> Where is Eric in here? What the heck? That was kind of terrifying. I re I really like having this blanket fort out here. Although every time I pass it, I'm like, was that the right choice? It seemed like the right choice at the time, but now I'm questioning whether it was the right choice to place it on the beach. I feel like Wally and Buzz would be better having a neighborhood to themselves. Okay, do you- so, swimming pool right here, yes or no? <laughs> this whole space could- could be a swimming pool. The space could be a swimming pool. We have the materials to make a swimming pool. The valley's looking more cute each time I see it. Thank you. Thank you very much. It doesn't tell me what crafting recipes Eric gives me, which is annoying. Oh, here it is. Okay, so he gave me a ship coffee table and a mossy base. Which was my nickname in high school. Is the joke that someone would make. Alright, so we need... Let's say we're gonna buy... We're gonna make six of these. So we need 12... Iron ingots. We have no coal. Okay. So coal is our top priority. What if my socks... Oh. What if my socks were blue? There. That's what we're doing now. Now we have blue socks. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> the blue socks are a significant downgrade. I don't like it. And I'm putting the white socks back on. There's a snowman family and there's Scrooge McDuck over there at the at the hot cocoa stand. Hanging out. We'll grab these two here and then we'll we'll Make what I wanted at Goofy's house, and then we'll go see what it looks like. Excellent. Sorry, Wally. So, 12 of these. And then we'll go to furniture, and we'll make... Six the of these. Get too bad. And we'll come over here and we'll go into the sunlit plateau. There, now he scares Wildebeest with the 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 dead corpse of his last kill at his feet. I think maybe my garden's just in a very inconvenient spot now that I'm now that I'm touching things. I did put it in the middle of everything. And this is kind of what we got going on right- Mally's in the lane. Mally move. And this is kind of what we got going on right now. A scarecrow with some bones at his feet. I don't hate it. Is it- does it feel 100% perfect? No. But I don't hate it. I guess I could 
I was, I put the scarecrow, hmm, I put these a couple of spaces away from the garden for a reason, but maybe if I pull them in tighter, because I want it to be a little offset, but perhaps it is too offset. Yeah, I just don't want them to be lined up exactly behind the scarecrow, which is why I put them off center, but maybe this is fine. I don't know. We'll keep working on it, but for now, this is fine. It's not perfect, but I'm okay with it. Let's, so, I don't really have, like, a stitch outfit. Do I have, like, a floral... Like, a floral dress, maybe? Do dresses exist? There we go. We can make this into a vibe. We probably don't want socks like that, though. Um, let's just take the socks off. I think the socks do something we don't like. <laughs> um, do I have little white shoes? Sure, why not? There. That's not the best outfit, but it's something for now. You know, when you start to do one thing, Ow! you just do 50 other things. And then you get confused, and then you forget, and you just gotta keep going. And none of this is even necessary, but I'd do it anyway. There is now everlasting winter up in the Frosted Heights. Which isn't something I did, it's just something that happened. So I will- I'll take you guys up to the Frosted Heights so you can see it. I mean, I guess it, it's always everlasting winter in the Frosted Heights, but there's like a, a magical storm that's happening, is what I meant. So I'll show you guys everlasting- or magical storm really quick. We'll just pop over to the Frosted Heights. And, and you'll see that there's a storm going on. It's very cold, very brewer, we're not dressed for the occasion. Very problematic, really. Um, my poor snowman isn't even selling any of his hot cocoa, that's how cold it is. Like, no one wants to come up here. And, and you know what? Look, it's just affecting all down here too. It's very foggy. We're all miserable. We're all miserable. Um, that- so we need to talk to Merlin about that, because there's a magical blizzard going on. Uh, we don't like it. That's, that's it, just it. We don't like it. Um, but, I don't know where Merlin is, but I do know that there is a sign right here that I have a, a feeling has something to do with Stitch's quest, considering <laughs> it's like a pranked Donald Duck thing, which feels kind of Stitch-like. Yeah, goodness level check. So, uh, let's find Donald, apparently. He is at his house, so we'll go down there first. Also, did everyone see my new shirt? I now have a blue shirt. It looks very similar to my old one, except it's blue. Um... Well, that's problematic. But I like the blue one better, I think. Hey, Donald, I found a sign with a picture of you in the peaceful meadow. But it looks like someone drew on it. What's the big idea? Who would? Oh, I know who it was. It was Stitch. If he does that again, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Whack! I don't think calm down, take a deep breath is very me. It's very aggressive. Kind of. But how about, what's wrong? How can I help? Finally. Somebody around here wants to help me for a change. I keep telling everybody we have a Stitch problem, but does anybody listen? No. What did Stitch do to get you so riled up? First, he won't stop bothering me. Leaving teeth marks in my pontoon, stealing the worms out of my tackle box. And then he asked me if I was ugly as a duckling. I think you might have misunderstood Stitch. See, one of his favorite stories is the ugly duckling. I didn't misunderstand anything. He's got it in for me. So I put up those signs around the village to tell Stitch to keep out of my favorite places. That's not nice. The village is for everyone. Exactly. And I like sharing the village with everybody who behaves. But Stitch doesn't behave. He won't even follow the signs. But that's not all. He drew funny pictures all over him. Maybe I can talk to Stitch and try to teach him to respect your property. Thank you. 
If Stitch doesn't leave me alone, I'm gonna fix up that spaceship of his and send him to the moon. We got a Stitch problem, guys. Help Stitch, now! I hear you and Donald have been having some misunderstandings. <laughs> No misunderstanding. Stitch do prank. Donald go whack. <laughs> Donald is my funny friend. <laughs> Friends, you're pranking Donald because you think it's funny when he's mad? Some people don't like to be pranked, Stitch. Donald's getting really upset. You have to respect his boundaries. Uh -huh. Oh, you want me to stop pranking Donald? Uh -huh. Is Stitch's badness level too high? Of course not. You're just a little rambunctious. Oh. Stitch will do better, promise. Why don't we start by replacing those signs you drew on? I'll teach you to repair stuff. Let's go fix Donald's signs. We'll need to find hardwood, softwood, and those vandalized signs. Thank you. Oop. It's good. Thank you. All right. Um, first things first. We're having a problem... Uh, with the music in the YouTube videos, so... <laughs> uh, settings. So, I do have... Streamer-friendly mode on, but the music in streamer-friendly mode is still copyright. So, we're just gonna turn the music down a little bit, so that it's not heard. Um... Oh, I'm surrounded by fools. I'm sorry, Scar. It seems to be mostly a problem when I go into character houses. Uh, the music in the character houses is copyright. Um, so, streamer-friendly mode is still not all that streamer-friendly. Uh, so, we turn the music down. I'm sorry about it, but, uh, in, you know, it's a dangerous world in streamerland. Uh, what am I doing? Softwood, hardwood. Oh, I need to find one more vandalized sign. Is it at the other entrance? Because those were at those two entrances. Uh, since Merlin's right here, I can afford to get distracted. Well, hello. He's still dressed like Santa Claus. We might keep him like that for a while. Kizzy, precisely who I was hoping to see. I'm certain you've noticed the rather snowy problem we have on our hands. Huh? Uh. There's a blizzard in the frosted heights, but it isn't a mere meteorolo meteorological... Meteorological happenstance. There's dark magic afoot. Magical blizzard? Sounds like a job for Elsa. Well, ordinarily I'd say yes, and I do mean to consult her. What a mess. But there's something quite unnatural about this storm. I fear even Elsa's magic won't be able to quell it. What a magical mess. What should we do? Uh -huh. To set this right, we'll need to restore the pillar in the frosted heights. That should keep all the vexing dark magic at bay. How do I restore the pillar? I suppose I'll need to find the orb, like with the others? Huh? Precisely, but I'm afraid it's easier said than done. The orb has been missing from the Frosted Heights since shortly after the forgetting began. Oh. And it... Oh dear, it's been missing so long that I can't remember which virtue powered its magic. What could it have been? Uh, punctuality? Tidiness? Uh, let's say tidiness. Punctuality? Tidiness. Tidiness! Mm -hmm. Knowing precisely where everything ought to be and putting it there is a virtue indeed. <laughs> One in short oh, oh, supply around this village, I'm afraid. Well, now, but whatever powered see... this pillar was something more elemental. <laughs> whatever it was, I'm afraid you'll have to tr you'll have trouble finding the orb. That blizzard means you won't be able to see an inch beyond your nose. I suggest you start by investigating the center of the mystical activity. You must search the blizzard for the source of the disturbance. Uh. And act quickly. The storm is growing larger. If we don't stop it soon, I fear it will swallow up the entire valley. Uh, now, see here. Oh, and Kizzy, I suggest you dress for the weather. It's going to be downright frigid. I couldn't um, have done better myself. I imagine it's just a pillar of nature or something like that, right? All right, here's the last one of these. 
and then we'll go up to my house. That's right. I'm Maui. Shake yeah, you are. Not to cut you off and run away, but I've heard this speech a million times. Hey, Anna. My name is Stitch. Ooh, what's this? This is some of what we'll need to repair the signs. Watch me repair a couple of them at a crafting station, and you can try fixing Ooh. one yourself. Okay. Then Stitch will be good at fixing and destroying. That's the spirit. Uh, I have something to give you. White marsh milkweed. Oh, nice. Um, chocolate waffles. And a snowball. There you go, Stitch. That's a cute little pose he does. Alright. Craft two Donald signs at the crafting station. And we'll just go to this crafting station. We've gotta wait for Stitch because he has to watch. Come on, Stitch. Digging training manual? Weird. Alright, two of these. All right. Here are the signs I fixed. Mm. Can Stitch fix sign now? Uh, I think you're ready. Let's do this. Good job. <laughs> Just be careful, okay? Oh. Taka. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look, Stitch make it better than before, yeah? Not bad for your first try. Oh. Should Stitch mess up more signs to practice fixing? That's okay. I'm sure there will be other ways to practice. Let's go place these signs around the peaceful meadow. That should show Donald that you can respect his space in the village. Mm -hmm. Um... Ba dum bump ba dum bump. Oops. Well, I lost a bush. That's okay. <laughs> Stitch tried his best. It's Maui time. Hey, Maui. Ah. We fixed signs and put them back. Is Stitch's goodness level high now? Not quite. You still need to apologize to Donald. It's the right thing to do. Mm. Grr. You want Stitch to say sorry? Mm. Stitch not good at sorry. Wow. Don't worry. If you mean it, saying sorry is easy. The most important thing is to say it from the heart. Okitaka. We find Donald and I say sorry. I guess I have to watch him. Yeah. Oh, he's little. He doesn't move very fast. Whack! Not you again! What kind of tricks are you gonna pull on me this time? No trick. Just say sorry. Sorry! Now I know you're pulling a prank. I'm too smart to fall for it. No, no. No trick. Kizzy helps Stitch fix signs and helps Stitch say sorry. I'm sorry. From Stitch's heart bottom. Just like Kizzy say. <laughs> From Stitch's heart bottom. Well, if this really isn't a trick, then, oh, I guess I forgive you for now. But I'll be keeping an eye on you, and you better not try anything again.
My name is Stitch. Donald likes Stitch's sorry. Well. Right? You did a good job. You did a great job, even. <gasps> I keep goodness level high, promise. <laughs> Only prank Donald sometimes. <laughs> ah, so good. All right, great. Uh, we have to... Hidden requirement. Hmm, interesting. All right, so we're going up to the Frosted Heights. We'll walk. And we'll, and we'll, uh, we'll dress, we need to dress warm. So what do we have for, like, coats? Hmm. That kind of matches. The, the gloves kind of match the thing on the, the shirt, the turtleneck. Really, our problem is just the hat. The hat doesn't really go with anything. And I don't really have a winter hat. It'd be cute if I had some, like, earmuffs or something like that. Do I happen to have a very cozy winter costume? I have a festive holiday suit. I think this is fine. W let's go take a look at Scrooge. I don't, I haven't, we'll see if he has a hat. And then if not, we'll just wear our stitch hat. The stitch hat will be fine. We might also take the backpack off. We don't have any hats. There's some weird goggles, uh, some a watch and some shoes. Although I do like those shoes. Greetings, neighbor. <laughs> uh, let's take the backpack off, as I was saying. Backpack off. And I'm not going to look at the hats again, despite the fact that I want to. Let's let's just leave. Let's leave before this man takes more of my money. We're going up to the Frosted Heights. Look how pretty up there, though. Alright, the source of the blizzard. It's probably coming out the mountains. I don't have any fish to give you, buddy. I could have, uh, fish if I had gone to Moana's boat first. I don't have any fish. Everyone's so hungry. Look at these feet prints, too. Interact with the wall of the cliff. Oh, boy. Enter the secret chamber in the wall of the cliff in the frosted heights. Those are creepy squirrels. Oh. Holy moly. And they stole his nose. It is demented in here. Oh my god. It is so scary. Hello! Oh, you found me. <gasps> Hooray. That means I'm it. Now it's your turn to hide. My advice? Choose a good spot. Anna says my finding abilities are epic. Olaf? <laughs> Kizzy, it's you. Wait, you look taller than I remember. I suppose the last time we saw each other was a long time ago. Way back before the forgetting. Mm. Doesn't that mean you're all grown up now? I guess so, even if I don't feel like it. <gasps> That's a relief. If you don't feel like a grown up, then you won't be too grown up to finish our game. Mm -hmm. Now it's your turn to hide and my turn to seek. Ready? Let's hide and seek later, but first... What happened to you? Huh? Well, I followed you in here one day. There was a bright flash of light. Mm. And then you were gone. And I've been here ever since. Mainly because I couldn't get out. That's awful. <sighs> well, I didn't get lonely. And I missed you and all my... Oh. Well, I did get lonely. And I missed you and all my friends. <laughs> but I've composed 12 epic novels in my head while I've been here. It's a series. I'll recite them to you later. Well, what is this place? <sighs> you know, I'm not exactly sure. I think maybe it used to be your special room. My special room? What do you mean? Well, you come, you came here when you wanted to be alone. Mm. To get away from all the complexities of, of life and ponder the meaning of the universe. Oh, well, that makes sense. We all need time to be alone. <laughs> That is so true. There's so much strange magic in here. I wonder where it all comes from. As do I. I this truly is a chamber filled with mysteries. Well, I needed your help fixing a magical mess. 
There's a magical blizzard that's threatening the whole village. If we're going to stop it, we need to find the orb and restore the pillar. <gasps> oh, I very much want to help, but first I'm in need of some assistance myself. Mm. You've probably noticed that I'm missing my nose, my buttons, and my arms. <laughs> well, I thought you looked a little different. <laughs> some might like the minimalist look, but I'm much more fond of my full Olafness. I'll help you get all your, par your parts back. I think when I came in, I saw some squirrels carrying them off. <gasps> oh, right. Silly me. Those squirrels are my friends. Yay! Did you know there are over 200 species of squirrels? Mm -hmm. But the ones here don't look like the squirrels I've seen before. They're all mysterious and glowy. <laughs> Still, they like to play keep away with me, which is nice. It helps to pass the time. They take my buttons and nose and I chase them around to get them back. Are you sure this was just a game? <laughs> well, I thought so. <laughs> but as for the squirrels, well, who can really comprehend the mind of a squirrel? <gasps> But this time, when you came in, the squirrels ran out right past you with my nose and buttons. Oh. I've only ever had to chase them around here before. Okay, I'll help you get them back. Yay! Great, let's chase down some squirrels. Well, I guess that's it. Bye. Bye. That's why I said I think Atlantis is going to play a big part in this story, because the room is creepy. With, their, with its symbols and its glowiness. I guess it does kind of sound like Atlantis. Chase down the scary squirrels. Oh! Great. Was there another one? <gasps> there he is. Okay, that's three buttons. And a nose. Great. Return to the secret chamber. Okay. I don't I don't have any fish for you, I'm sorry. There was like a zucchini or something right there. Give. Hello! You got my nose and buttons back. Thank you. I'll feel much more like myself now. Hey, did you know that squirrels use their tails to help them balance in high places? I didn't know that. Fascinating. I agree. Squirrels are a source of almost infinite interesting facts. <gasps> And now we have one to add. They like to keep... They like to play keep away with carrots. <gasps> Are you ready, little nose? Let's put you back where you belong. <laughs> oh, this is so much huh? better. I'd give you a warm hug to say thank you, but I'm still missing my arms, so that would be difficult. Well, they've got to be here somewhere. Oh, I just remembered. It's not only my arms that are missing. They were holding something when I lost mm. them. Didn't you say you were looking for some kind of orb? Mm. Well, I was holding one when I got locked in here. Don't you just love coincidences? So if we find your arms, we'll find the orb. Excellent deductive reasoning, Kizzy. Ooh, and we can also deduce that if I don't know what happened to my arms, I don't know what happened to the orb. You don't know what happened to your arms? <sighs> As I said before, all I remember is that I walked in here and there was a flash of light. The next thing I knew, my arms were gone, and so was the orb, and I was locked inside. Ugh, if only there was some way to tell exactly what happened in here, but it was so long ago. Well, if you don't, if you don't remember, and I don't remember, <sighs> maybe the water remembers. The water remembers? What do you mean? <clears throat> oh, water has memory. It's disputed by many, but it's true. We'll just need to find a way to get it to share the memories with us. Hmm. Say, would Elsa know something about this? Oh. Elsa, that's it. She's very good at helping water show us what it remembers. All right, I'll go talk to Elsa. Before we do that, though, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So let's grab this. 
It also looks like that might be a portal, which is also interesting. I left something in here. Something I need. I know it's here somewhere. I need it to tear down the wall. It's not working. Nothing is working. It must be the pillar's magic stopping me. I have to tear out the orb to cast my spell. There's no other choice. Oof. That doesn't sound like the greatest choice. This room is very messy. I try to make friends with the villagers, but it's like there's a wall between us. Like something is broken inside of me. Oh. Oh dear. The spell. It went wrong. Need to find somewhere else. Somewhere quieter. Might need to rip out all the orbs to do so. Oh, no. It's only when the lights are on that I realize my life is dark. And here, I'm safe. This is, <laughs> this is dark. I'm a therapist and this is dark. I'm not a therapist. You know what I mean. There's a couple crystals missing. Okay, let's let's go talk to Elsa. Hi there. Kizzy, thank goodness you're here. I've been doing everything I can to try to stop the blizzard in the frosted heights. Mm. But nothing I do seems to work. Oh, oh shoot. Something about something is feeding it. I think I might have found the key to fixing it, but I do need your help. Oh. Of course, anything. Just tell me what I should do. I went to the center of the blizzard and found a secret chamber full of strange magical experiments. And that's not all. I found Olaf inside. <gasps> Olaf! Yes. Oh, what a relief. Anna and I have been so worried about him. Did he know anything about the blizzard? Yes, he's helping me. Hmm. Good. What did he tell you? Olaf's arms are missing. He says the, loss, the last thing he remembers is that they were holding onto the orb. We need that to restore the pillar. But he doesn't know where to find them. He said something about water having memory? <laughs> That's it. Olaf can be a bit of a genius, but I'm not sure my powers will help. Whatever happened may not be tied closely enough to me, <laughs> but you might be able to do it. In the past, your royal watering can could draw out the memories held by water. Hmm, then maybe we can find out exactly what happened to that orb. Do you think my watering can still has that power? I wouldn't know where to start. My friend Gray and Pabby would say to start where things began, and that would be the pillar in the frosted heights. I'll keep trying to fend off this blizzard while you investigate. Mm -hmm. Just hold out your watering can and focus your magic near the pillar. I hope we can talk again soon. All right, I guess back up to the heights we go. I do like cleaning the village and making it look nice. That's all I'm saying. It's not that I need to clean the village. It's that why would I leave the village looking a mess? That's all I'm saying. Like, you know, I I'm having a little bit of a hang-up ever since I started editing the YouTube videos, I'm gonna be honest. I just spend so much time cleaning and not enough time doing anything. Oh, right. Use my watering can on the sparkles... On the sparkling water near the pillar. Okay. Oh. I guess that's... 
me removing the orb? Hmm. And Elsa is... <laughs> Here. We're, ju we're just gonna go, because she moves too fast. It's a whole ordeal at the moment. Am I going the wrong way? Do you have a moment to talk? Hello, Kizzy. Did your watering can uncover anything? I saw the Forgotten taking the orb from the pillar. Oh, or it's the Forgotten. I forgot that me and the Forgotten are like the same. Or, well, maybe... Listen, it's a whole thing. I think the Forgotten looks like me, but also like the Forgotten is me, I think. I think maybe... Maybe I was so sad and in such a place of darkness that I became the Forgotten, or this Forgotten, like, magically split off from me, but it's like a part of my soul, you know what I mean? I have a lot of theories. Yep, anyway, the Forgotten's a part of my soul, and that's where we are. Yes. Oh. Well, I've spent a lot of time talking to Merlin about the magic in this village. He told me that the pillars have protective charms on them to keep dark magic at bay. Aww. Maybe the Forgotten wanted to try using more dangerous kinds of magic, and the Pillar's protective aura was stopping that. Elsa, there's something I need to tell you. The Forgotten? They're a part of me. I knew it. Some kind of splinter of myself that I left behind. Uh -huh. I see. Well, I know that magic can do things like that. Olaf is a part of me, and he's sweet and kind, but so is Marshmallow, a much larger snowman I created. He's... Let's just say he's very protective. So if the Forgotten wanted to mess with dark magic, does that mean I did too? Uh, it's the only thing that makes sense. Just because you want to do something doesn't mean that you would ever do it. But this would mean that the blizzard, the forgetting, could all of this be my fault? Huh? What? No, Kizzy, this isn't your fault. Uh -huh. Trust me, when it comes to starting magical blizzards that threaten to swallow up everything and everyone I love, mm. I've got a little experience. Magic and emotions can make unintended things happen. The more you know about your magic, the more you'll be able to control it. <laughs> what matters now is that you're here, trying to fix this. And I guess now we're one step closer to doing that. In the memory, it looked like Olaf saw the Forgotten running off with the orb, and he followed them to the secret chamber. Uh -huh. Then I think you'll find the rest of your answers inside. I'll go see if there are any more memories inside the secret Why, chamber. Why, thank you. Oh, I, I guess I should leave the watering can out anyway. We did indeed see those memories in the f f secret chamber. Oh, so glad you made it. Kizzy, I have to know, are we any closer to solving the mystery of my missing arms? I think so. Elsa helped me use my watering can to bring out a memory near the pillar in the Frosted Heights. I saw the forgetting pulling the orb out of the pillar. Oh, the forgotten. But it looked just like you. Yeah, the forgotten has my face. There's some sort of magical splinter of me. Huh? Oh, like I'm a part of Elsa. How fascinating. I guess it is sort of like that. Well, I certainly thought the forgotten was you when we were playing hide and seek. You'd been missing for a long time, but we were still in the middle of a game. <laughs> so I followed you, uh, the Forgotten, so I could tag you, and you'd finally come back to the village. <laughs> and then I saw the Forgotten had dropped that shiny orb, so I picked it up and came in here to give it back. But then what happened? <laughs> I don't remember, but you can use your watering can around here to find out. Hands down, this is the best day of my life. Okay. Is Olaf chasing me and I stole it from him or tried? Or the, well, the forgotten, but you know. Use your watering can. And I threw it through the portal. Great. Well, I figured I'd have to go through there eventually. Oh, good. You're here. Wow, did you see that? I must have interrupted the Forgotten while they were creating some sort of magical enchantment. Huh? And the orb, the orb made the magic go wild in here. Oh. That must have been the flash I saw. So this chamber 
It must be the Forgotten's. And it was the Forgotten who locked you inside here. I'm so sorry that happened, Olaf. That's okay. I know you wouldn't have wanted it to happen. After that, the Forgotten grabbed the orb off the floor and threw it into that portal over there. <gasps> with my arms still attached. Oh, but Brightside, now we know where the orb is. Someone with arms can just reach inside the, por the portal and grab it. I'd volunteer to do it myself, but... Ahem, no arms. That portal keeps flickering. Something's wrong with it. I don't think it's safe to reach inside. <gasps> hmm. Oh! Maybe there's a way to fix it in one of these books. <clears throat> Since my arms are missing, I couldn't turn the pages to read them, but the titles are very interesting. <clears throat> They're all about magic, casting spells, making things float, how to open portals. Did you just say how to open portals? <gasps> how to open portals? Yes! And we need to open a portal. I guess I'll need to find that book. See you soon. The Beginner's Guide to Transfiguration. Curses and Hexing Hexes 101. So you want to open a dark portal. Must have been stolen from Merlin's library. The back reads, helpful troubleshooting tips. Caution, be careful not to rip apart the walls of reality. I, I hardly ever read the flavor text, but they're funny. Talk to Olaf. Oh, hi! You found a book? Is it the one we need? You'll have to read it to me since I can't turn the pages. Okay, it's called, so you want to open a dark portal. Yay! How conveniently specific. It sounds like it's exactly what we're looking for, Kizzy. I hope so. I can't wait to hear what it says. This book... This must be how the Forgotten learned to open all these portals in the first place. No wonder they've been popping up everywhere. Um, are you going to read? Hmm, according to this, we'll need something called a Dreamlight Prism to fix the portal. There's a bunch of broken glass on the floor over there. I'll bet the Forgotten tried this too. Maybe if you gather it up and replace the broken parts, we can get a- we can get my arms back. Oh, and the orb. Can't forget about that. It says we'll need some glass and some purified night shards. But once I fix it, I need to find some way to channel all the colors of the rainbow through the prism. How do I do that? Well, there are some gems over there near the portal, but not all the colors. Some must be missing. Don't worry, Kizzy. I'm sure you can figure out what to do. Finally, it says I need to whisper one of my darkest fears to the portal to seal the spell. I guess I should start thinking about what I'm afraid of. Oh, God. But for now, I'll start by making the Dreamlight Prism. Well, I guess that's it. Bye. Uh, red, orange. So we need an orange one. Green, blue, purple. So orange, orange, green, and purple. 